this means to go get another panel. This isn't the most expensive. This is one of the Chinese panels. I know they say we must avoid them. Uh, but here in South Africa, they're a little bit expensive. They're coming in at 15 Rand to 22 Rand a watt. You just need to times that by 7 to get to, to US dollars. Um, or 10 if you're from the UK. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. The only thing I don't like about this panel is the size of the spaces. But um, for my needs, it'll be fine. So as you can see, this is a polycrystalline panel. Uh, sorry, a la monocrystalline panel. You can see the, the, the shape of the silicon signets. Um, yeah, I don't know what they've done to actually uh, cut these. Obviously some sort of laser. Um, yeah, this is a 100 watt panel. Um, tested, verified 100 watts. I've got another two on the roof. Um, they seem to be doing quite well. They've been up there a while. It's not too bad. You can see it's got the aluminium frame. Um, if I turn it around, do you want to just come in here? It's got your normal UL box. Uh, it's got your diodes. Uh, this one doesn't come with cables, uh, but I'll show you in a moment how to actually solder on these cables. I know you get crimping tools and so forth. I don't like the crimping tools if I want to replace these cables. Um, and that's crimped, it's going to create a bit of a problem. With uh, proper soldering, you can actually solder proper solar cable on here, which is what, I, what I'm going to do, 4 millimeters squared, uh, positive negative, and yeah, um, not too bad of a panel, I think, it's just the spacing, but you know, uh, this one comes in at 11 Rand 50 a kilowatt, uh, sorry, a watt, um, wish it was a kilowatt. Uh, you can see the enclosure is waterproof, so it's not too bad. Um, I know you get some terrible uh, Chinese panels, um, but uh, yeah, this one doesn't seem too bad, and uh, I suppose the proof's in the pudding, so we'll, we'll see. I'll take you up on the roof later and show you how I installed it. Thanks.